Okay? So, um, in this example, we're going to do the innermost evaluation first. They're asking us to tan inverse of negative 1. Again, what does, tan in, what does inverse represent? It's basically asking us what? The angle. The angle. What is the angle? What is the angle that produces negative 1? So to understand that, sorry, I get a little animated. To understand that, forget about the negative. Let's just look at what does tangent represent. We know that tangent represent, tangent of an angle represents the opposite over adjacent. Right? And that's helpful. Usually, especially with a triangle, that's really helpful. However, over here, that's really not going to do much for us because you just have a value and um, I could just do negative 1 over 1. I don't that doesn't really help me out with angle. However, there is another representation. We also talked about when we have a coordinate point on the unit circle, tangent represents the y over the x-axis, right? Or the y over the x-coordinate, I'm sorry. Does that make sense, everybody? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, Mateo? Makes sense. So let's look at all these angles. There's three angles, ladies and gentlemen. And I color-coded them either for you. Mr. McLogan? Yes? I need Shaylin Goodlow to check out in the front office, please. OK. Thank you. Make sure you write down, uh, write down the homework. Videos will be online. So there's basically three triangles for three different angles. Green triangle for 30 degrees. Blue triangle for 45 degrees. Red triangle that represents 60 degrees. Does everybody see that? So each triangle and each angle have their own coordinate grid. What is the only angle that you guys look up there when you take the y coordinate over the x coordinate would produce 1? 45 degrees. So therefore, it makes complete and total sense that the, that the tangent of 45 degrees re equals 1, or the inverse tangent of 1 is 45 degrees. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, we have an issue, though. Because here's that point. Square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. When we do the tangent of pi over 4, which is 45 degrees, we get 1. Correct? Yeah. But the problem is, our problem, we need to get negative 1. Correct? So we need to figure out when is tangent going to be a negative 1. Well, if we flip this over the y-axis, what does this produce now? Negative. Negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Right? Um, over here, if we flip it now over the x-axis as well, now we have negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Does everybody agree with me? And if we flipped it over here, then we'd have square root of 2 over 2, comma, negative square root of 2 over 2. Does everybody agree with me? Yes? Now, just for fun, could we figure out what the triangle is for all of these? Or what the angle is for all of these? You guys should be able to know how to do this really quickly, and I'll show you how. If this is pi over 4, what is this coterminal angle? Pi over 4. What is this coterminal angle? Oh, OK. What about this one? OK. So let's just play a little game just for a little practice. This isn't a part of the problem. But guys, if this is pi over 4, we know all the way around is 4 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4. And I go back 1, what is this angle? 3 pi over 4, OK. If I go 1 over 4 pi over 4, what is this angle? 5 pi over 4. OK. If I go all the way around, I know that's 8 pi over 4. So if I go back 1, it's going to be? OK, good. Good job, guys. All right, now, here's the issue, though. First of all, so what are the only two that brings tangent to be a negative one? Uh, that, 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 that and that. These two. Yeah. Because this one's a negative over negative, right? You guys agree with me? OK, so I'm actually just going to do an x. I'm going to leave them up there, but I'm going to just put an x through them. And that doesn't work, because that gives me a positive one. Now, however, though, there's one important thing that's really important about this. One important thing that's really important about this. Remember the constraints. Remember I talked about the whole time with constraints. Or are you going to raise your hand? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to find when the tangent is equal to negative. What angle the tangent is equal to negative 1? What angle? These are all, Lauren, these two angles, tangents equal to positive 1, y over x. Positive over positive is positive. Negative over negative is positive. These two angles, tangent of your angle is equal to negative 1. But there's a problem, because my constraint of tangent is between negative pi halves and pi halves. So does this angle, does this 3 pi over 4 work? 
No. So yes. How do you know if constraint? Constraint of sine and cosine, I'm sorry, of sine and tangent is negative pi halves to pi halves. That's why I spent the whole time, remember I spent the whole time with the graphs. What are else? Remember like we reversed the graph and did the vertical line test. We spent like 30 minutes with, the hor with doing all that. The whole purpose of that was for you guys to understand why we have to have a constraint. So therefore, sine of theta and cosine of theta, your constraint is negative pi halves to pi halves, whereas cosine was 0 to pi. Okay, They're in your book. They should also be in your notes. But you had to do that for your stuff. And the reason why that's important is because if here's my constraint, Yes. Yeah, sine and tangent. Thank you. OK. So if you guys look at this, though, if you guys see all of these angles, so this is the only angle, right? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. That's the only one that falls within the constraint, right? That gives you negative 1. This angle falls within the constraint, but it gives you positive 1 when you do tangent. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. OK. So the problem, though, with 7 pi over 4 is 7 pi over 4 goes outside of the constraint. Do you guys kind of see how I like did this little black box? The 7 pi over 4 goes out, and then it comes back in. That doesn't work. You can't say that the, this angle does not fall within our constraint. So we have to figure out an angle that starts here and ends here, but stays within this range. Because when we do the positive, it goes outside of the constraint. So instead of doing the positive, we could maybe do the negative, negative yeah. which is just the reference angle there. So therefore, Zach, what we have is the tan inverse of negative 1 is negative pi over 4. Five. Now we need to figure out what is the sine of negative pi over 4. So we go and look at the point of negative pi over 4. What is the sine of this coordinate point? Of that when the point's on the unit circle, what is the sine of this? What does sine represent? Negative. Sine represents the negative cor y coordinate. Sorry. Sine represents the um, y coordinate of the point on the unit circle. That's the point on the unit circle. Okay. 